Last week on Drench, we tested our limits doing some pretty wild beach diving and checked out a sacred Hawaiian place of refuge. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. You caught my eye, and I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me the ring and I'll jump right through. You look safe in those glasses. Yeah, super safe. Super safe. This is so when I slam my beer down, it doesn't splash in my eyes and blind me. Yeah, with deliciousness. These are my beer goggles. Yes. You're getting prettier by the moment, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're here at Kona Brewing Company, one of our favorite beer companies. They're going to take us on a tour today. Yeah, we're going to find out where and how and when and why the deliciousness is delicious. We're just here to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, and learn. We're gonna learn oh, we're learning things while we get drunk. Yeah, oh, right. very Let's important. Educational. Hi, McKenna. I'm Jordan. Hello. Sorry, that was like an awkward no. handshake. <laughs> All right. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. 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 All right, guys. That was that was kind of mild. Uh, we're gonna start day drinking here pretty soon, though. Let's see if we can't get a little more excited about beer. Aloha. Aloha. The tour and the beer magic both begin right here at these massive silos, which hold 40,000 pounds of malted barley. A flex hogger, which is like a giant drill bit that rotates and pushes the grain, sends the barley up to the malt hopper where it is weighed before traveling to the miller. Here it is cracked open and then sent over to the brewery, which is where we were headed to next. I used to. We'll head inside now if you could all uh, get your beer goggles on. Please don't touch anything inside. There is some dangerous caustic chemicals and stuff. Uh, we don't want you to get hurt. We could also ruin some beer and we definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> right this way. We headed into the brewery. Once we were inside, we got the rundown on how the cracked open barley from the miller actually turns into a yummy beverage that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. It starts in the mash tun way in the back over there where hot water is mixed in. The mixture is then agitated until a porridge-like material called wort is created. The wort travels to the brew kettle where it is boiled to kill off bacteria and reduce some of the liquid volume. The next step is adding hops. Different types of hops and at what time you add the hops are what give the beers their unique flavors. Next, the liquid moves into a whirlpool so that all the sediment sinks to the bottom where it can be easily sucked out. It's then cooled down and simultaneously pumped into vessels with yeast. Our yeast, like we said, it's a living thing. It loves to eat, it loves sugar. And so it's gonna start eating up all of the sugar that's in our wort from our grain. And then eventually, like other living things, our yeast is gonna have to poop. But <laughs> lucky for us, yeast poop is what we're looking for. Anybody know why? It gets you drunk, yeah. exactly. Uh -huh. Yeast poops alcohol, hooray. You look like a scientist in his glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna stop for one second. There is uh, one of our mascots right behind you here on our vessel. After that, we saw where they filter the beer and where they store all the finished kegs before it's either consumed right there in the restaurant or shipped off to be bottled. Then it was finally the moment we had been waiting for, the tasting. We headed to the very back of the restaurant where we were given very generous samples of several different beers. As you might have noticed earlier, we invited our friends Jeff and Sarah to say thank you for hosting us on this trip. Jeff's you, ready for this. Are you ready to drink? I'm ready. I am. No, not only is Jeff ready, but Jeff is quite knowledgeable about beer. That's right. I'm impressed. I, I know everything about beer from the fact that it tastes delicious, it makes girls look good, it makes me dance well. I think that's all I know about beer. The beers were delicious, but that was no surprise. After our tasting, we grabbed a little bit of dinner and a lot more beers. Roasted garlic and gorgonzola, delicious, but probably the worst date food you can ever eat. <laughs> to our amazing host, thank you so much. It's a good week. And yeah. awesome yeah. diving and all the cool things. You. I got a shrimp melt. That's going to be all over oh, you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wear this. Self. And Jordan got a bake. My pizza is so good. I just have to put this camera down because I need to eat more of it. As the night progressed, the beers continued to flow. 
We mostly talked about scuba because that's all we ever talk about. Then finally we knew it was time to cut ourselves off when we decided to start a canoe party in the middle of the restaurant. Not to mention we had an early morning dive ahead of us the next day. Must it be time? Yeah, it's my mood to be. Let's see it. Oh, oh, it's like a spam sushi roll. Energy I need to succeed. Eat that. Ow. 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 That's right. Spam. Yeah. Mm. Young. D. Young. Frank D. Young. Mm -hmm. And Frank is a longtime employee of Konohono Divers and a longtime resident of Big Island. Yeah, 20 years now. 20 years? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've barely been alive that long. Yeah, no, I'm right. just kidding. <laughs> well, Frank, tell us about this kind of general area that we're diving in today. All right, this is the, the Red Hill area. There's about seven established uh, mooring moored dive sites in here. They're all kind of renowned for its uh, canyons and, and topography formation diving. It's pretty, pretty awesome. What intrigues me about the diving here is, I don't know how many thousands of dives, I probably have like 4,000 dives, but um, I still look forward to coming down here and there's still parts of this reef that I would like to explore. I love just, just the simple things, I guess. You know, like I'll have a moment where all of a sudden I'm in a cavern and then like there's a million fish all around me or something. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna stop and enjoy this. I just appreciate what, what we have and, and all the gifts that are here for us to enjoy every day. So. Awesome. We were blown away by this dive site. It was like a labyrinth that never seemed to end. Every corner you turned brought something new to discover. The lava tubes were littered with skylights that let in the most beautiful ambient light. We lost ourselves in the winding topography and were so wrapped up in it that every time a critter would pop into view, it was like being gently coaxed awake from an afternoon nap. At the end of the dive, it turned into Frogfish City. 
Frogfish can be hard to spot sometimes. If you see a piece of coral that looks like it's frowning at you, it's probably a frogfish. They are quite a treat to see, and today we found the mother load. It's Nate's favorite time of the day. What time is it? Coffee time. Good boo, coffee time. We were on our way south on a huge mission, but first Nate needed some coffee. Luckily, there was a precious little gecko to keep me entertained while Nate fueled up. Coffee? Check. Check. Or so we thought. We didn't make it that far before we passed a coffee plantation that we knew from experience gave out free samples. You're gonna be all dressed up. Yeah, I am. We just had coffee, and then we were driving past there. I'm like, let's go there. All right, we're up at Kona Joe's Coffee Plantation up here in Kealakakua. Kealakakua. We're up here at, how do you say it? Kealakakua. Kealakakua. Yeah. So we're up here at Kona Joe's Coffee Plantation in Kealakakua. <laughs> Kealakakua. How do you say this town name? Kealakakua. Yeah? Yeah. So we actually lived in Kealakakua for six months and I never learned how to say the, the city and I never learned how to say our street name even. So, embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Kealakakua. That was the street. Kealakakua. <laughs> <laughs> we can't show that. What, what do you want me to do? Okay. I can see you. <laughs> we'll film it where you can't see me. <laughs> okay, I can still see you. Go to the right a little bit more. Go to your left. I'll be way down. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Can you see me? No. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just the coffee, uh... Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> just a coffee minahuni, just hanging around. Don't worry about me. Well, I was doing a coffee bean fell in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Got coffee in my coffee. Mm -mm. Dude, Nate's gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be jazzed up now. Bouncing off the walls. Woo! <laughs> I can't feel my, I can't feel my face. When I'm with you, <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, there's more dolphins. The dolphins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just loving, loving the sea life, that's all. That's how we do. I love you, dolphin. I love you. Boop, boop it. Boop, did I? Booped it on the nose. Did I get my head hat dirty? South Point, and it's called that because it's the southernmost point of the Big Island. And the southern point of the United States as well. Uh, this place is uh, really windy. Really, really windy as you can see. Uh, it always is, and it's really deep water. Uh, it just falls right off to a couple thousand feet, so a lot of the fishermen here will throw out long lines with trash bags that um, they are actually able to fish for down here, right off the shore. So that's pretty crazy. In addition to these little factoids, there's one other thing you need to know about South Point. It's nature's ultimate playground. Cliff jumping, free diving, rock climbing, South Point has it all. And the only scary part about it? Climbing up this rickety, rusty, swinging ladder you see here. We 
had a blast at South Point, but it was time for us to get going. We had bigger fish to fry. To see the rest of this adventure, tune in next week as we get stranded in the middle of nowhere, watch new earth being formed, and come face to face with Kona's most infamous tiger shark in what was probably the most incredible dive of our lives. Hello everybody, I am coming to you today from the warmest room in the house in freezing snowy Utah. Uh, we're going to be spending a good portion of our winter here. We're going to be working, saving, scheming, and planning for uh, what's shaping up to be a pretty awesome 2017. So. Uh, that being said, we would like to know what are your guys' favorite dive destinations and where would you like to see us go? Uh, so let us know in the comments below um, where are your favorite places that you've been or places that you wish you could go. And if you would like to try and help us get there, um, we hope you would consider checking out our Patreon page, which is listed in the description below. So for those of you who are new to Patreon, uh, here's a quick rundown on how that works. So you pledge a dollar amount per episode. It can be as much or as little as you like. Um, every dollar counts. Seriously, thank you guys um, to those of you who have already pledged to us on Patreon. We are eternally grateful to you and you are personally helping us make all of our dreams come true. So thank you for that. All you do is sign up and Patreon takes care of the rest. It's really simple. And in exchange, there are some pretty sweet rewards. Um, we've got all different kinds of drenched swag, including these bad boys right here. Um, we've got some stickers and hats and all kinds of cool stuff. And then here's the big one. We're gonna be doing some dive package giveaways and you'll be entered to win those. So you can experience some of the cool dives we've been showing you guys in our latest videos. You can experience those firsthand. Uh, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely check out our page. As I said before, it's listed in the description box below. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching and following our adventure. And if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more. See you next week.